Greetings everyone, and welcome to this video about the characteristics of the natal Mercury in Gemini position in astrology. This will be a general overview of the placement. It can alter somewhat depending on which house Mercury is placed and what aspect it makes to other planets, but for the purposes of this video, I'll describe to you what Mercury in Gemini natives are generally like. So pull up a seat, sit back, and enjoy this presentation. Now, how does Mercury in Gemini interact with the world? How does he think, learn, and communicate? We have to know beforehand what the planet Mercury and the zodiac sign of Gemini both represent. Mercury represents thought, learning, communication, reading, writing, and reasoning, while Gemini is known for being sociable, friendly, witty, and chatty. While Mercury transits through Gemini at the time of one's birth, one will be blessed with very high intelligence, an ability to learn at lightning speed, having many diverse interests, and encyclopedic knowledge of just about anything. Mercury in Gemini is loquacious and a lifelong student of all subjects. Their, their love of learning will enable them to develop many skills for all kinds of careers, but because of their tendency to be shallow, often they don't master a particular one. Thus, they can be the jack of all trades and the master of none. Quite often, they're fluent in several languages and understand the flow of computer logarithms and mathematics. In fact, Mercury is such a harmonious placement for these people since it's in the sign of its own rulership. These folks are generally easygoing and easily make new acquaintances with their ability to socialize with educated, intelligent conversation. Their sense of humor lightens up any atmosphere. And because Mercury doesn't distance himself from the sun too greatly, if one was born with sun in Taurus, Gemini, or Cancer, and born with Mercury in Gemini, either way, the rational minds make them less possessive and emotional. On the other hand, the thought process of Mercury in Gemini can be fickle. It can flow from a particular interest one day, then to another the following day, then another the day after, and so on. They also enjoy playing the trickster using their uncanny intelligence to toy with others' emotions. Out of all the Mercury placements, they're the most adept for telling lies to deceive others. They may base decisions solely on facts and logic, lacking compassion for the emotions of other people. In less evolved individuals, they may disregard morals and higher principles in order to escape from responsibilities and consequences stemming from their actions. Mercury and Gemini natives make excellent teachers, translators, lecturers, writers, and journalists. They excel in any field, emphasizing verbal communication. They also make excellent lawyers because of their ability to understand multiple perspectives and devise any argument for a client. So if you need someone to articulate a message on your behalf, count on Mercury and Gemini. Celebrities born with Mercury in Gemini include Liam Neeson, Marilyn Monroe, Helena Bonham Carter, Bill Paxton, and Elizabeth Hurley. So overall, Mercury in Gemini natives are very fortunate to be blessed with highly intelligent, adaptable minds and being the masters of speechcraft. In terms of the lottery, since Mercury is placed in its sign of its own rulership, they're the winners. So this has been my own interpretation of the natal Mercury in Gemini position. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like with a comment. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I have many other astrology videos for everyone and more are in the works. So I'll close by saying peace, much love and namaste. Thanks for watching. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Godspeed.